What's up y'all? It's your girl and I for kicks. We are back. Your girl went on a little hiatus, um, kind of laid low while I was traveling for the holiday, you know, had my birthday, a lot going on. So I am back. We are back at another event. Um, we're in Homestead. So like it took us like an hour and 20 minutes or so to get down here. And like guys, there's nothing but just open land everywhere like nurseries everywhere banana trees every little piece of vegetation you can grow down here is being grown down here you got these huge houses but like nothing else so we're gonna see what's going on at Miami sneaker convention today inside of the brewery I'm really hoping that a lot of people also made this trip so I'm hoping it'll be a great event um, I mean, I got a couple of pairs that I'm looking for, that I've been looking for in the past however many events for the past year or so, so I'm hoping maybe they'll have a used pair in there. You never know what you're going to find, so let's go on, head on in. Oh, but first, let's do a little fit check. Something very simple. It is extremely hot, um, but I got some ready-made blazers on. We're going to start with the shoe because that's what we do. Um, just some denim shorts, a little Nike crop top, a little hooded vest, and then y'all see the bag. We, we're not going to get into that too much. We don't need to. Let's go ahead and head on into this event. event didn't last very long and I'm gonna be real honest it was really hard to capture what the vendors had what was available at the event because it was just so darn hot like everybody was already packing up I think we got there around three o'clock and everybody had already started packing up because it's I mean South Florida is really really hard to do an outdoor event in the middle of summertime and I know that Miami Sneaker Convention tried to set it up earlier in the summer, but then it rained. We got all the rain and flooding, and that didn't work out either. It's either going to be way too hot, or it's going to be raining. So they tried, and I mean, the effort was there. I would definitely go to another one of their events, because I know that they have been great. Um, but yeah, so we hung out with some of our people, and then we decided, let's salvage the day and and make a day of it and go to you know one of our you know local sneaker stores so i think i'm going to start going ahead and doing like a, a series kind of like a very keith lee inspired review series but instead of local food spots or food spots in general we're going to do resale sneaker shops so like the little hidden gems that not necessarily everybody knows about um so we started off with a banger so we're going to do four categories. We're going to, you know, kind of rate based on the overall aesthetics of the store, um, the personability of the employees and or owners, whoever is in the store when we walk in. Um, we are also going to go based off of variety or range, you know, how many different types of shoes are there? Is it just the most recent? Things like that. And then we are also going to base off of price. So we're going to take all of those different things into account when we score their overall, you know, store as a whole. And like I said, guys, this store that we started off with is called Token Miami. They actually just opened this brand new location. Um, so they don't have two shops. They just put it all into one new bigger spot and they did their thing with this. So let me go ahead and show y'all a look at the store and then we'll bring you back here for the review. I 
wanna be the best in the game Invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I got is working Never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic You can't stop it, it's been chronic Since I was a boy so neurotic and chaotic I'm Go. to last with the webs I'm weaving I could change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat em. Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat em. If you take off the cast, you can see all the healing If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave And put your foot on the gas, no, never stop competing, yeah I've been doing this, I'm on it I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic, got me going off when I'm on this topic. Yeah, if I ever play, I want it. You know that I'm always honest. Stay away from those who are toxic. Keep my face, no way you don't want it. Yeah. Don't try to drain my energy. The enemy is everything. It's mentally unhealthily spreading like a rare disease. But I won't let it get to me. I don't need your therapy. I can leave a legacy of leading by intensity. Come on, we can fight this. Freedom is priceless. Spread just like a virus. Living in crisis do you feel courageous do you see greatness trust me you can take it go on and take your aim i built to last with the webs i'm weaving i could change the past with all i'm achieving got my foot on gas never stop competing if you break the glass then this life's gonna eat them make mistakes real fast then you learn how to beat them if you take off the gas you can see all the healing if the pain's in the past down my rating and my true opinion true honest like unfiltered opinion of the store y'all go ahead and give your girl a subscribe you know I'm at like just over 3,000 subscribers I know we've got like six months left in the year but like how freaking amazing would it be if y'all could help your girl reach 5,000 subscribers like that would be the ultimate Christmas gift so we're gonna shoot for that I'm gonna ask y'all to again all subscribe to the channel share with your friends and family give your girl a thumbs up for the video um comment below as well like what are some things that you saw in this particular shop that you really liked is there anything that maybe you feel that they could have done different on their end based on what you saw. I don't know. Give your girl some feedback and let me know where y'all are at. And you never know. Your girl may do a little review at a couple shops there. I'm always traveling. I'm always, you know, hitting up every single sneaker resale, resale shop that I can find while I'm in any given area, town, city, whatever. Um, so you never know I may just pop up at one near you So let me know if you have some hidden gems in your area so that I'm aware of it and I can make sure that I review them when I can um, But again guys just make sure you share the video and the links and everything with your friends and family Anybody anybody that you know that might be interested in sneakers so they can kind of have an idea of do I go out of my way for this shop um, or do I just stick with what I know? And again, let's go ahead and get into the full review of Token. Um, so, I mean, aesthetics, immediately walking in the store, I would have to give them a five out of five. Um, I also know that their older store was a lot darker. I mean, it's, it's always been giving a like chill kind of hangout vibe with sneakers and clothes and all the hottest you know accessories everything like that um but having this new shop be so much and the ceilings were a little bit lower in the older shop too so this the the whole vibe is much more open much brighter it's a lot easier to see the different things that they have um i mean just the vibe the again the aesthetic was just on point so that's definitely getting a five um the second category personability 
I'm gonna have to give them a five on that as well. Um, the you, You've always got one of the three, I, I believe there's three or maybe four owners now, but you've always got one of the owners in store, behind the scenes, you've got your employees running the counter, you walk in, like you get that hello, hey, how you doing? Um, I've been in shops where you don't get any contact from the employees, um, but we'll, we'll get to those when we get to them. But, um, you know, you get that warm, friendly, and this is before the camera's rolling because, you know, even no matter how big or small of a, you know, YouTuber that you are, that camera starts rolling and people try to put on their best, you know, foot forward or best face and like act like they're above and beyond. But it wasn't that vibe at all. We had people come in after us that they were walking around with the customer and like showing them different fit ideas, different shirts to go with shoes. And like, I really like that above and beyond and that like trying to make that connection and they're knowledgeable of the shoes as well. They don't just work there for the paycheck. They have some knowledge about what it is that these people are walking in the store to spend their money on. Um, I would have to say range, variety, we're going to give them a four. Um, while you're going to find, you know, your range from like Jordans all the way up to like the Louis Vuitton trainers, the Rick Owens, you're not going to see a lot of older stuff in that store. You're going to see a lot of the more hype, more relevant pairs um, that people are actually checking for. You're not going to get any 90s basketball shoes. So that's what you're looking for. Don't even like don't even bother if you want something like some some nice staple pieces like high-end street where you want some hellcat you want some gallery department that's going to be your story you want to take your style to the next level you want some elevated pieces tokens for you a hundred percent but i will tell you going into our next category guys if you're going to go into token be prepared to spend some money so it works for token where they're at um, down in Miami, they get the clientele that has no problem dropping the money. I feel like a lot of people that go into that store have like certain events or video shoots or whatever it may be coming up that they need these pieces. They need that, that t-shirt or these amazing jeans or they need that pair of shoes that just stands out for whatever it is they have going on and they got no problem dropping the bread right there and right now to get that, that item and walk out of it with. So, I mean, have, you know, what works for them. Price, I'm going to have to give them a three out of five. Um, it is, you're looking well above market. But again, if it works for them, that's great. They were able to get into this new space. Um, overall, let's go ahead and give Token Miami a 4.3 out of five. Um, but in addition to what you saw, there are other reasons to go to this shop. You've got the VIP lounge, which is the upstairs little loft. But they also have like their own little event space in the next little area over. Um, we didn't get a, a great look at that. Just kind of like a little peek behind the curtain. So nothing for y'all. But guys, like Token Miami is definitely one to put on your list. If you're in South Florida, if you're within driving distance at all, I would definitely look at it. Um, you know, make that stop. It's, if nothing else, it's a fantastic experience to go in and check them out. So Guys, like I said, this is like a new little series, you know, we're going to be sprinkling in these videos within like the pickups and the sneaker events and the usual stuff your girl does. But again, you need to be subscribed to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell because you never know what town or area or city your girl will be in next and what shop I'll pop up in next. So as always, keep tuning in to what I've got my eye on next.